Welcome back to the Stoop Football Fans. Well, the cameras are under the stoop because it's raining like crazy today and the wind's acting up. But um, just like any football fan, uh, or any footballer actually, they have to play in the rain. We're so, playing uh, in the rain. We're playing in the rain. Except for James. <laughs> James, uh, he's, uh, he's in New Orleans with uh, some nice weather. But um, I guess you deserve it after the way your team played, and I deserve this after the way my team played. Hey, what about my team? Ah, shut up. Before we get started, <laughs> don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and click the bell. It means a lot to us, and it does a lot for uh, building our channel. So, all right, let's get to it. James, dude, that's a huge win. That's, that's, that's massive. I think this is another one where you guys would have been happy to walk over the draw before the match. But as soon as the match started, y'all were like, uh, I think we could take this. And you guys were right at them the whole time. Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on, on the match? Yeah, it was an outstanding performance uh, all the way around. I thought everybody uh, on the pitch for us looked really good. I have no complaints about anybody's performance. I thought it was excellent uh, all the way around. Um, you know, special, of course, special praise goes, I think, to, Cal to Calvin Phillips because Calvin just looked absolutely phenomenal uh, out there. It took about 10 or 15 minutes uh, to get into it, but then once he did, uh, he was he was something else. Uh, you know, Rafinha, well, Rafinha just showed what he can do, right? I mean, he's he's the prototypical Bielsa uh, winger, wide player, you know? I mean, he uh, is versatile. He can do so many things. Uh, he and Harrison were switching up their sides of the pitch all day long. The, uh, the overload on that right side, that right flank, uh, just worked to perfection uh, against Everton. Uh, just like, I mean, it, it worked for, to perfection against Crystal Palace. It led to Bamford's goal. And then, of course, uh, you know, it led to Stuart Dallas, uh, Stuart Dallas's attempt against Arsenal. Yeah. So we've been using that all season long, that, that, that right flank overload. And this time it just worked absolutely perfectly. If you look at the diagram of it, I mean, you, it was brilliant. I have no complaints at all. I mean, uh, Melier, uh, just an outstanding performance. Uh, there's yeah. so, there are too many too many people you can Yeah, name. I mean, it's I give him crap all the time, but he, he did make some stubs, you know? Melier is yeah. really coming around. Are we saying- Is it Melier, Messier, Meslier? Like, are, are I we, heard you say Melier. I've been saying Meslier. Um, Messier, Ms. Leslie. Miss Leslie. Uh, Miss Leslie. <laughs> probably, Let's call him Miss Leslie. Melier. Are we mm. calling him Melier? Melier? It I'm sounds like something Melier. I take for indigestion. Oi, oi, my Melier. <laughs> my Melier. Uh, but yeah, he was good. I want to ask you, because um, James Rodriguez has been so difficult to cope with for so many teams. And he's all, they, uh, Ancelotti lets him roam all over the pitch, wherever he wants. And that's why he pops up and he crosses into the box. He, he's he's all over the place, not afraid to shoot. Who took care of him for you guys? Who Stuart. is it that took him out of the game? Yeah, yeah, Stuart Dallas. Uh, so Stuart, Stuart, Dallas. Stuart Dallas essentially uh, took James out of the out of the match, Similar, similar to what Koch did to Calvert-Lewin. I mean, if you look at Calvert-Lewin, I mean, Koch was constantly pushing him why? Yeah. Uh, to the point where he just was not uh, effective. Uh, James, same. I mean, Stuart Dallas, the same one. James. Uh, you know, they they just had no answer for uh, for Stuart Dallas on him. They couldn't free him up for anything. I mean, they're two um, again, two amazing performances. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of the match? I I think that if there was a key word for for James, it, it would be frustrated. He yeah. just yeah. You know, as try as he might, couldn't get anything going. Uh, Stuart Dallas giving him fits, and it showed. I mean, it, you know, every time you saw him on camera, he's looking at an official going, where's my whistle? And it just never came. He played him tight. He played him aggressive. Uh, the, the, ref, the ref the whole match was like, dude, you're playing leads. This is just how it goes. <laughs> Fucking deal with it. Like, get up off the pitch. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think, you know, for me, when it comes to Banford, it's like, you know, you know, maybe his confidence is a little shaken, but... The team hasn't lost confidence in him. That that extra pass is still coming his way. He's still getting oh, yeah. an opportunity to score rather than someone go, you know, I don't trust Bamford on this. I may have a clear shot. I'm going to take it. Now, that being said, the goal was exactly that. The goal was Rafinha, uh, who had, like, 
th three dudes going, pass it, pass it, I'm, I can Sure, go, I can sure, go. taster's he, choice. He, juke, 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 juke. You could tell as soon as he got the ball, it was like, no, he's gonna, he's looking for a, he's not looking at these passes, he's looking to score. So thank oh, God yeah. it went in. Well, well, otherwise, if you look at, it was going to yeah. be like, why don't you fucking pass the ball, man? I think there's another <laughs> team that has that problem. Well, he, he had so much space to operate in because, again, it was a product of that right wing overload, right? Yeah. So you had uh, Cleesh, Ailing, and Harrison all on the right wing. They, uh, there, there were five Everton players marking three Leeds players on that right wing. And Harrison's pass, which is perfect to Rafinha, Rafinha had all the space in the world in which to work. And, you know, that was an incredible shot. Yeah. I, mean, it's, and I think that's not the last one you're going to see from him, that's for sure. Yeah. So I I love, we we talked during the Aston Villa, or after the Aston Villa match, I loved seeing the aggression from Leeds of, you're up by a few goals, it's the 95th minute, you get the ball, seven guys go flying forward. I like that. Yeah, that's seven on four. But to the contrary, this week, you guys are up by one goal against arguably a much better team than Aston Villa. It's a tough fought goal, it's a tough <laughs> match, and it was the 90th minute, 89th, 91st, right in there. Helder Costa gets the ball in tons of space. Yeah. But not enough to make a try on goal. He runs directly at the goal and tries to make something happen and quickly gives the ball away. As opposed to, you could have taken 30 seconds or more off the clock by running, hanging out, waiting for everybody to come up, pick some small passes. But he ran straight towards the goal, picked one pass and lost it, and then Everton's on a break. You can lose two points that way well lolo uh, you know <laughs> Lee's just gonna change i know that. i mean the mentality I know, I the mentality know. is to attack to constantly attack that i mean look for goals that's it we're not i mean bielsa is never going to be one who's going to sit back and kick the ball around at midfield and hold on to it at the end of a match but you have to it's win be, the match you have you know, to win gonna the score. match those are things that that turn a win into a draw for no reason you know what i mean yeah yeah that's just uh, it's like that's I, the way Bielsa is. He's he's inculcated that mentality into the entire team. Yeah. So the yeah. entire team has that mentality. I mean, it's just a constant barrage of 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 sprints, of cuts, yeah. of uh, of of shots, and I mean, it's that's yeah. not going to change. I was looking at a stat today, and of the of the top five matches so far in the Premiership this season, uh, as far as goal as, as far as shots on goal are concerned. Four of them have involved Leeds United. And I think the other one was like uh, uh, the Scum and Leicester or something like that. Or, uh, But yeah, it was. But, the, but four of them were Leeds United matches. Jesus. So there's going to be shots, man. Shots, yeah. attack, attack, attack. That's, that's, that's Bielsa's motto, man. That's his mantra. Yeah, yeah. So let's just talk the past two matches. Nearly 50 shots, one goal. Yeah. Is that troubling? It is. I mean, you know, early in the season, I think our first four matches, I think our conversion uh, rate was around 20%. Uh, since then, our conversion rate has dropped to about 6%. So, yeah, so that's uh, that's troubling. You don't, you, don't, you don't want your conversion rate to be below, you know, 10%. I mean, that's like a, it's a worst-case scenario. So you, you don't want that. Uh, we're going to have to – we have to put the ball in the net, man. And that's, yeah. it's, you know, that's the name of the game. And uh, we're having our chances. We're getting numerous chances. And we just have to convert on them. And it's going to come. You know, I think it's going to come. I'm optimistic. Well, I would, Things will change. I would freaking kill to get in double-digit shots for my <laughs> team. Like, I just Look, can't. Look, I mean, someone, someone is due for a hiding. I mean, someone is going to really get beaten and get beaten badly. It's going to be a, like an Aston Villa... I have, you know, type score on steroids. I mean, we're going to score like six goals on somebody yeah. eventually. And um, I think it's going to be the scum, personally. <laughs> I just want your quick thoughts on the on the um, the match of the week that everybody's been talking about. Oh, my God. Chelsea, Tottenham. 
you know, they're scoring tons of goals. <laughs> and they're gonna winner is at the top of the Ooh. league. Can you imagine Bielsa Leeds United playing a match like that ever? I know. Was yeah, that was that was, a, that was a snooze fest. It was such a snoozer, and I don't know. I don't know what I expected, James. I actually was I was very very excited to watch that game. I asked my wife not to bother me while while I had it on, and I think I started dozing off midway through the second half. <laughs> now that's what they were saying uh, before the match. There were noise complaints for hours before the match because all they heard was beep 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 because Mourinho was parking the bus for like an hour before the match even started. <laughs> He's making sure the bus was all the way backed up onto the pitch, and they just parked it from there. That game, I watched the first 15 minutes of it, and I was like, okay, uh, this is like a, I'm having a, a nightmare here, you know, or a flashback to, you know, the, the Benitez uh, Mourinho matchups. And they're like, oh, we're top of the league. And I was like, if this what is what top of the league is, I'm not saying that's why Arsenal aren't there. We're like, no, we refuse. We refuse to play like that um, and get points. Right. Um, no, I don't know what we're doing. Uh, I can't even talk. Like, out of we're the three lose. of us, my team is the closest to relegation. You guys are nowhere near relegation. We are four spots above relegation. Like, point-wise, you're like nine points up. From, uh, from the relegation. Yes, they're just, you're just not. They're the, so the, the, the bottom four is terrible. That's your race for the bottom three, is the last four teams. You know, there's th then everybody else becomes mid-table. You know, the mid-table this year is huge. I think I think the league is very, very competitive. Last yeah. year, you would look at a, at, an, uh, at an Aston Villa and you'd be like, hey, you know, yeah, we'll get that one. This year, not so much. No. You know, Everton, middle of the table last year. Not so much this year. The, the fact that Southampton, uh, Southampton, they lost they to Man United like that, instead of the headline being, the Saints almost had them, it was like Man United, they were in the locker room like they won the league because Southampton is a better team than Man yep. United this year. Absolutely. And just through sheer taking their foot off the gas, they yeah. lost it. So. And yeah, I that think was, that that's one thing you can't do against the scum. I mean, right right now, the scum, their weakness is their defense. You have to keep pressuring their defense. You cannot sit back and park the bus and just say, okay, you know, we're up two goals yeah. and we're going to, you know, absorb punishment for, you know, half of, a, half of a match. You just can't do it. You have to continue to attack. Yeah. And uh, they just didn't do it, and, you know. And eventually, you know, you know, you know, the scum are going to get their goals. Uh, yeah, it was very, it was very disappointing and frustrating to watch. I mean, it's, uh, it was, yeah. I mean, like I said, it almost ruined my Sunday, almost. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Then, yeah, the rest of the day helped ruin my Sunday. Bielsa's countryman, one of, if yes. not the greatest footballer of all time, Diego Maradona, passed away. Do um, you think Bielsa had a little bit of pride going like? Uh, Saying I did that, did that yeah. for my boy, and I, yeah, I think so. And uh, and also, I mean, I, one, of, one of my great regrets in my life of you know following the sport is that I was in uh, Naples back in 1984 and had a chance to go see Maradona play with Napoli, and because the person I was with was not into football, I decided to. Ah, yeah, we'll just watch it on, you know, television, find a place to watch it on television. One of the great regrets of my life. Yeah. I mean, I could have seen, I, I, I never saw him play in person, so that would, and that was my opportunity. Gone. So, yeah, he was, uh, you know, a great player, and I know that uh, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of my English friends have very mixed feelings about him. Yeah, so yeah, I won't yeah. we'll get into that. Yeah. But, yeah. But, but uh, you know, know getting a, a beyond the fact that he's an amazing player. He was an amazing player. All right. Yeah. All right, James, we're going to get inside out of the rain. And um, thank you for talking with us once again. Um, My pleasure, fellas. We'll see. You. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, James. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. All right. Sounds get great. Inside. It's raining. <laughs>